365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you today. Hello, friend. Happy Sabbath. Today is July 16, 2022. Our scripture reading for today is found in the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 8 and 9. And they say, Now Amalek came and fought with Israel and wrapped them. And Moses said to Joshua, Choose us some men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. Today's devotional is titled, The Lord is My Banner. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you because we know that we don't stand alone. You promise to be with us. And for that, we bless and praise you. Help us to sense and be aware of your presence with us and to not be afraid because you are with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Today's text presents us with the first time the biblical record mentions Joshua's name. And under what circumstances, in a cruel and also cowardly act, the Amalekites attack the rear ranks, all the stragglers of the people, according to Deuteronomy chapter 25, verses 18. Moses then ordered Joshua to select a group of men to respond to the cruel aggression, but how would they achieve victory, especially against a well-trained enemy and one who was also new to territory? The answer is in our verse, while Moses would intercede for the people on the hill, Joshua and his men would fight Amalek in the valley. In other words, divine power and human effort would join together to triumph over the cunning enemy. The scriptures say that was exactly what happened that day in Rephidim. On one hand, Joshua went out to fight the Amalekites, and on the other hand, Moses, Aaron, and Hur climbed to the top of the hill. Then a most strange event took place. When Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hands, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Or supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. According to Exodus chapter 17, verses 11 to 13, there is a lesson for us here. Moses and Joshua knew that victory would only be possible thanks to the power of God. However, they faithfully did their part. As one prayed on the hill, the other fought in the valley. So that the people would never forget such marked victory, Moses ordered that a commemorative altar be built. That altar would speak of what is the end of those who dare to challenge God and would remind Joshua and future generations of all the good things that happen when divine power is combined with human effort. What name did Moses give that altar? He called it, The Lord is My Banner. Do you have a banner, a flag, to face your battles? My flag says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Every time Amalek wants to attack me, that flag reminds me that the Lord is with me and that as long as I am supported by the strength of his power, nothing can overcome me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to raise our banner high today so that others may know that in Christ we are more than conquerors through him who loved us first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for the devotional. We pray that it has been a blessing to you. May God's love embrace you and may his presence be with you throughout this day. We'll see you again soon. Bye.